Boy, howdy, I sure do love roguelike deck builders. Can't get enough of them. I'm not even being facetious here. I love them. They're all good, or at least a lot of them are good. They all do something a little bit different, and that's kind of huge for me because I love watching a genre expand. There's something just absolutely beautiful about it. This one's interesting because it is made by, honestly, some of the best pedigree I've ever seen before, so I, there's some high expectations for this one. So hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Roguebook, a deck builder roguelite. Lo roguelite? It's somewhat roguelite. There's a tech tree, or a, a perk tree, so there very clearly is some meta progression here. There's no denying on that one. Uh, obviously, a lot of it is locked away uh, for the final version of the game, and who knows when that's coming out. But this is apparently made by one of the people that made Magic the Gathering, like, way back in the day, and developed by the people that made Feria, which is a a deck builder TCG, much like Magic the Gathering, but a little bit friendlier, a lot easier to get all the cards, cost way less money, and had kind of a fun grid-based uh, hexagonal grid. And co-op. Uh, Shell and I played it a while back and really, really enjoyed it. And so they contacted me about their latest game and asked me to check it out ahead of the Steam Winter Games Festival to just more or less let people know that the demo is available. Now, obviously, I'm putting this up on the day that the uh, like that the festival actually started. So if you're watching this video right now, uh, within you know a couple of days of it coming out, you too can actually play this this demo yourselves. So let's just dive in. So if I recruit him, okay, so it looks like I have two characters. Okay. Use your brush to reveal paper tiles around in a radius of two. There's my deck. That is very fair, yeah. Exploring the rogue book. You're inside the rogue book. Okay, so this is the tutorial. Good. I didn't skip it after all. Use your magic brush to paint the world around you. Find treasures and gems to power your heroes up and stand against the enemies within these dangerous pages. Build a strong deck that can take on a variety of enemies. Once in battle, you control two heroes. Good. They work together to deal and absorb damage. Carefully manage who stays on the front line, as they will be struck first. Each victory in battle will reward you, it will award you a special ink that you can use to make your brushstrokes more effective. Once you feel ready, enter the final portal and confront the chapter's boss. Defeated to move on to the next chapter. There are three chapters in total. Good luck, you'll probably need it. Okay, pay gold to draft a card. Retailer for all kinds of goods. Let's go this way for a second. Hopefully I can backtrack. Maybe. Anyway, I'm here to defeat the merchant. Hello. So he has... Both heroes gain power until the end of your turn. Playable if you have shar only shark cards in hands. That's tough. Oh. Ally aggressive. At the start of each turn, double out this ally's spirit. Okay. Resident Moonstone, when you play this, add a copy to your hand with no gems. Okay, that's cool. Retain and ranged. Don't discard at the end of your turn, and cost one less energy when played from the back. Golden Sphere, whenever this card destroys an enemy, gain 25 gold. Okay, so we might want to grab that. We also have perks. At the start of battle, the equipped hero gains 3 power until the end of turn. See an extra card when drafting from a Vault of Wisdom, and whenever an enemy attacks the equipped hero, they take three damage. So I'm going to go for the Golden Sphere, uh, and we're going to turn that sound effect down. Okay, and turn off Mutant Background. There we go. Resume. Okay, so let's take a look at cards. So, Strike, Strike, Defend, Defend, Lunge, Charge, Swap this hero to the front, more damage. Okay, so it looks like both characters have their own kind of deck. So the one thing I will say is we might want to stay away from lunge. Or not. Hmm. I don't know how much I care. Anyway, I say I might want to stay away from lunge, but let's uh let's make lunge have that money. It'll pay for itself if I get what? 4 kills. Okay, reveal surrounding territory. Well, let's go for the battle first and see what happens.
Yeah, fair warning for those of you watching. I don't know what I'm doing, and it's going to take a little bit to actually understand that one. So what's the flame? I guess let's take a look. If she's leading, gains three power, increases attack damage. At the end of your turn, if he's leading, gain two block. So this guy's going to block, and this guy's skipping his turn. Block, block, attack, attack, and block, block. Now, can I... Yes. Looks like I can. If he's blocking, let's just, uh... Let's see, how do I see how much energy I still have? It looks like it's that, in the center of the draw file. Okay, fairly common UI. Ooh, boy, going for that archer was a good idea. Okay. So let's kill the archer. Oh. Dissolve. Ah. So I don't get it back. That's fine. So he's gonna hit me for six. And he's gonna hit the front. I guess I'll just hit him for a bit and then we wait. So guard is what moves him up. It'll have the little switcheroo. So defend will do the same thing. Now it looks like he's hitting for six. We don't have any other blocks. I'm going to have her move up. That way she gets the power bonus. I can just wail on him. It'll take one damage, but there, I don't think there's any way around that. Okay. Well. Strike. Guard. Defend? Because I don't think armor carries over. But I don't think that's a problem. Die! Hopefully these characters get some more interesting cards as we go along. Reveals five spaces in a straight line and gold. Cool. So in that case, let's go here. There's that. This seems interesting. Cool. Okay. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay. So there's a lot to find here. So we got a battle, reveals a random item on the map, and all adjacent tiles. Guess I'll just pop that real quick. Oh, you can even go back here. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's any kind of rush. It's just a matter of how much can you tech up before you are... Gem of Destruction, attack the leading enemy for eight. Okay. Can I just put that on anything? I guess so. Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I just keep going for as long as I want. But it's a matter of how much of the map can I manage to explore before too late. And managing ink matters a lot. I like that system. That's got some chops. Okay. Uh, it's... Hit that guy. Hit that guy. Whammo the front one. And then guard. Okay. That should prevent him from taking any damage. I've been doing a lot of deck builder... Uh, quick math. I'm doing okay at it. Okay, lunge. Go for the kill. And I should still be able to defend. Yeah, we're good. I love the art style for this. The <laughs> I of course they've got little yaks. I for those of you that do not know and have not uh have not seen Faria before, there's a full full on like super deck that you can build around having yaks, and it is just the cutest thing ever. Alright, let's go over here. I can't go through the trees. Well, let's pop the Rune of Sight, see what we get. I'm 
just going to reveal things. What is that? Transforms your cards. Which is interesting, but maybe not the most helpful. Now, is there... There is no way that I can look around the map. Takes at most 10 damage per hit. Strikes foes with a flurry of hits. Okay. So there's actually this over here. Like, I, I can go back here, but it looks like we're locked in. Hmm. Ogre Belt. Common. Whenever the equipped hero plays a card that costs two or more, gain four block. And the other one is a mace. Whenever the equipped hero deals 15 damage with a single attack, inflict weak. Okay. I guess I'm going to scoot up here. And brush. That gets, gets me access to the fight, but also lets me use the sky tower. A narrative. Challenge the lore of the world of the world feria. So, this is within the feria universe. Okay. Oi! Oi! You like shiny? I like shiny! We trade, yes? Fair deal! Exchange all gems or buy a random gem. Buy a random gem! Mega Ruby Epic. This card's attacks deal triple damage. Dissolve. Yes, yes! Game of chance! Fun! Merchant holds out a bag. You reach inside and pull out a random stone of value. I'll deal final. Goodbye! Fair enough. Well, let's do some hits. So let's fight some things. Ooh, you're spiky. At the end of its turn, the creature inflicts weak on the front hero. Gotcha. Okay. So immediate problem. We have no way to get ahead. But we do get to do a bunch of damage to him. But also, ouch. Okay, so he, he's going to hit for a bunch. Alright, tank up. I don't know how healing is handled, but uh, this bad boy is spooky. Alright. Let's defend. Strike. Strike. End. Oh, this is... She's gonna get clobbered, ain't she? I should have kept... Well, I don't think it would have mattered. This is it gonna hurt? Someday I will find out how to heal. Until then. Okay. I'm gonna move him to the front. And then we're just going to end turn and see if I can get him with a lunge. Yeah, there it is. Give me that money. Oh, no. Did we hurt them? Consumes a brush. Reveal a space and all adjacent spaces within a radius of two. Okay. We still have that ogre belt over there, but I'm not terribly keen on it. The mace, on the other hand... Well... I'm not going to turn up my nose at the amount of wealth that we just accrued. So transforming my cards might not be a bad idea. Let's check the Vault of Wisdom. Draft a card. Ooh. Attack for seven, gain block. Oh, there's also gem slots. This one is a plus. Both heroes gain power, gain block, retain a card. I'm gonna go for Clash. That sounded decent. All right, let's take a look at this guy again. What else we got? So, Sapphire of Temperance costs one energy less when played from the back. I 
I'm gonna grab the uh, pet Firebringer. He actually seems really good. Is he actually? Who knows? I, if this works, I will be a very happy camper. So this card's attacks deal triple damage. If we're lucky, that means we just made an insane murder pet that can only be played once, but boy, does it do some harm. I'm really hoping that's exactly the case. All right, what are we looking at? Well, it's like the answer is go first. And I think the archer is by and far the more dangerous fellow. Pretty sure that's exactly the case. Okay. I could go for the lunge, but she's taking a lot. We'll save it for the for later. I'll try and finish off the defender with it. Yep. Yeah, Okay. Well, all my things are attacks, so we're just going to do... P okay, allies are special cards that fight alongside you. Most allies have a spirit value that determines the strength of their abilities and attacks. Some allies have abilities that can be activated when you click on them. When they reach zero, it's dismissed. Okay. If we're lucky, this, this guy just exists and does damage. I'm hoping that's the case. Alright, they're gonna hit me for 13. So let's do guard, defend, and then strike. Just wallop that guy. Yup! Alright. The one thing I will say is it doesn't look like I'm doing that whole triple damage deal that I was really hoping for. Okay, bonus question time. No, he ain't dead yet. Uh, strike him. Yeah, so it doesn't it doesn't look like the Mega Ruby actually does anything on my pet Firebringer, which sucks, but I understand why. All right. I gotta test this. Okay, so armor carries over between characters. Well, I guess we didn't get the lunge, but boy, that fi pet Firebringer is going to be uh, fun to utilize. Okay. Just gonna grab that one. So other thing to note is the darkened areas are probably Impassable. So it's best that I don't reveal too many of those. If I can avoid it. Free money. I'll take. Alright, let's deal with the alchemist. See what we got. 150 gold to transmute a card. Well, I don't have that kind of dosh. I'm getting there, but I don't. Okay, so I got one more ink. Okay, well, it gets me a random ink. I'll take it. Hello, goon men. Okay, well, don't have anything else. So I'm just going to wail on the front guy as hard as I possibly can. I wonder how much equipment you can actually stack on a dude. Are they still asleep? Alright. The, uh, Firebringer up. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna hurt. Okay. So let's do strike, lunge, kill him off, 
than guard. Still gonna take some harm here. But at least we've got... Bloody mo Holy shit. Um... That's 24 damage. Owie. Look at the distinct feeling that I'm at a bit of a disadvantage here. Okay. He Dunsky. We're good. Reveal three spaces in opposite directions. Alright. Not my favorite. I almost want to hold on to that one. Alright. Hail Mary, let's go back to the shop, see what I can buy. I don't have much. Sucker Bunch, play only if Sirocco is leading, and you haven't played any cards this turn. Two Courage. Let's grab Prepare. Start of your turn, gain one energy, lose a stack of Courage. Okay. So it looks like I can't get rid of cards. So I should be careful about that. Been playing a lot of deck builder roguelikes where you actually can just stack up your cards without worry. Okay, so this is a her card. Well, Defend. And then we do prepare. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, he's cowardly. I see. do the lunge. But we'll just do the defense. We don't take any damage this way. So we need my little ally monster to just do horrors. There he is. Okay, let's do pet firebird. Let's keep wailing on it. Damage is down. I... Wait, hold up. That's just... That's some seriously Snow White nonsense right there. Oh, sweet! Bessie, that looks like that's going to hurt. Okay. We might just straight up lose a character right now. Well, uh, it's time to find out if, how badly I get smoked here. Wounds. Ah! 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 That sucks. At least I've got little battle friends to help out, but... Boy, howdy! This boss is mean! This hurts! I think we win. Hopefully we heal to full. After this fight, but... Boy, how do if we don't? Okay, let's do a prepare. Get that extra energy ready for her to inevitably get crushed. Well... 32 damage. I thought this boss was limited, uh, capped out at t Oh, this wasn't the boss. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, 
That's bad. That wasn't a boss. That was an elite enemy. All right. Cards attacks pierce, pierce through for half damage to the next enemy. Ooh. Interesting. I'm still kind of cheesed that that it lets me put the Mega Ruby. Oh, that, that, that bad. Okay, I have two curses. Fun. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't think I can do any more. Or am I ready? Hell no. I'm in I'm in dire straits. Oh, we can potentially draft a card here. I flatten. All right. I mean, there's also a second prepare. And if I want to go for mad energy, I'm actually going to go for that. Talent tier has been unlocked. Oh. Whenever you swap, gains one power this turn. First time Sirocco takes damage each turn, he gains five, five block. At the end of the battle, gain one gold for every two cards in your deck. Oh. I'm going to grab that, even though I'm probably about to die. On we go! Time to lose horribly. It is a big bad. Horrible spider. Oh good, now I have no way of locking here. Well, can he hit me for 16? Option A. I need a block. No. I hate doing this. We're just gonna try and tank the hit. That's good. I'm just gonna low lunge early, then strike. Then defend. Move him up. I wonder if I could have actually gotten rid of those wounds. I probably should have checked that. Jesus, how much damage do these things do? Way too much. Yeah, I need my battle pet out, but... Well, there she goes. Yeah, let's let's see if I can actually play the wounds. I didn't really bother, and I should have. Nope, can't play them. Okay. Guard, defend, revival. This is fun. Let's bring her back. I. Me think th thinks this might be a bit overtuned, but I think I might also just have not played enough. All right. End turn. Good luck. Yeah, I should have just gotten the Firebringer out no matter what. Okay. Don't really have much to do here, so defend. Defend. Flash. It's really that Firebringer that's going to save my butt. There he goes. I think I lose. Yeah, pretty sure I do. Yep, there we go. Oh, that was tough. We do get a couple of scrolls. Oh, and the characters level up. Slowly. So there's character levels up, or party level up, and then individual character levels up. That give you potentially new perks. So new cards for the characters, new perks for the team? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I want to take a look at the perk tree, because this matters. Uh, unlocks it an additional talent tier. One additional heart is hidden in each chapter. 10% chance to find bigger hearts. It would have been nice to find a heart. Replace one strike card in your deck. That would be nice. Choose from an additional gem in chess or start with extra gold. Let's go with the treasure. And those require lots of pages. So let's, uh... <laughs> Holy crap! I I guess you gotta win to get these. Oof. Alright. Um, 
Well, I got my butt handed to me, but I do want to go for another round. I, I feel like some of it was just bad RNG, bad building. I mean, losing the triple damage... Uh, the triple damage gem to a pet that I thought was going to maybe do triple damage because that would be insane, but no, of course not. I, If it's not going to work, it shouldn't be allowed to be placed on. But a lot of that, in my mind, my assumption, that's probably just an oversight in development, and they'll probably fix it for later. I certainly hope so, because it, it's a little tragic to just have like little gotchas where I'm just like, oh man, look at this really cheesy strat, and they're like, Haha, no, we don't actually let you do that. And it's like, oh, come on. At least stop me from it. Uh, that one's going to stick with me. I, I hate it when games do that. But again, this is a demo, so I can't really judge it based on what's currently there. I Ultimately, visuals are great. I love the exploration mechanics. That sounds really interesting, and... I can see some really, like, nutso builds coming out of, like, really good runs where I can just explore the whole map and come away with just tons and tons of loot. But it does really depend on whether or not I can actually get those through those fights without getting clobbered. <laughs> so, I could do another run, but I think I might actually just do another run for another episode. So, with all this said, I guess if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Rogue Book, hit subscribe, because I'm going to do a number of videos here and now while this is a demo, and then we're going to come back later when the game is either in early access or done. I'm not actually sure which direction they're going with this game. Uh, I'm up for either, and I can't wait to play more, just because, like I said at the very beginning of this video, I like roguelike deck builders. I can't get enough of them, and I'd, I'd love to play more. So, with all that said, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.